It is Wednesday and that means it's time for another Pet of the Week. We're introducing you this week to Angie, Michelle, and a very special dog named Cooper. Tell us about Cooper. Uh, Cooper Gardner is my little rescue palm. I adopted him in 2009. Cooper is a palm on a mission given back to those who saved his life. Um, he was rescued from animal hoarders. They actually bargained him in exchange for food and money. And so now he has blossomed into North Carolina's Prettiest Pet 2015 um, and then some. Um, but what, he, what we do now, we host and participate in a lot of charity events and we collect money, uh, goods, um, anything for animal rescue and just to help bring better awareness to animal rescue. Yeah, just a great example of what rescue dogs can become. Now this is definitely, I think, living up to the title of North Carolina's Prettiest Pet. Tell me a little bit about the outfit, what perhaps is his favorite part of it? Um, what he's wearing today, he's got on his black tux and tails and bow tie, um, his crown and his sash, but his favorite is his sunglasses. That's become his signature look. <laughs> fantastic. Now, I'm going to come over here to Michelle. We've got a fantastic prettiest pet, but it is about time to get a new one, correct? Yes, it is. This Saturday will be our 16th annual North Carolina Prettiest Pet pageant. It takes place in Lexington at the Tractor Supply. Registration begins at 9 o'clock. The cats will start competing at 10 and the dogs will follow after. And it's not just for the prettiest pet. There are a couple of different categories, correct? There is. We have um, different the puppies, small dogs, large dogs, medium dogs, senior dogs, uh, kittens, senior cats, long-haired cats, and short-haired cats. And if people out there think they've got a great candidate, perhaps what's the best way to get them involved? Uh, they can reach us on our Facebook page or they can email me at um, ncpppageant at yahoo.com. Um, there's three different categories. There's beauty, there's uh, costume, and there's a photogenic contest where they bring a photo from home. And we actually give out about 100 awards that day. And you don't have to be a breed or a rescue. Mixed breeds do just as well as... as um, purebred dogs and cats do. Fantastic. So a wonderful event for a wonderful cause. Thank you, Michelle and Angie, so much for joining Thank us you. today.